committee represents a victory. Uh, water charges, according to the committee, will be abolished. Refunds uh, will be issued. There will be no excessive use of charge and there will be no compulsory meters in new bills. Um, what we saw in the committee today was the pressure of the movement outside. For almost three years we've had a massive movement of people power, hundreds of thousands on the streets, 73% of people refusing to pay. They all said that we wouldn't win, that it wasn't possible to win victories. Much of the media said the same, but today you see the pressure of that movement coming to bear. It isn't over yet because now it's over to Simon Coveney. Will the government meet its commitment in the agreement it has with Fianna Fáil to implement legislation according to the recommendations of the committee? Um, we don't know if they will or they won't and it gives an increased importance actually to Saturday's right to water demonstration, two o'clock at Houston Station and Connolly Station um, because from the attitude of Fine Gael, they were saying, oh, this is illegal. And the chair went and got legal advice. The legal advice said, no, it's fine, it's not illegal. And they're still saying it's not proper legal advice, it'll be illegal. So I imagine the next thing will be Simon Coveney saying, well, I have secret advice that I can't tell you about from the Attorney General and it's illegal. As opposed to dealing with politics and the fact that Fine Gael can't take being beaten by this mass movement. Um, so I think it will be necessary for people to get out in the streets, uh, hopefully just one last time on this issue, um, to make sure and to say to the government now, the committee has reflected the wishes of the majority in the Dáil, uh, of the majority of the people in society, in terms of scrapping water charges, in terms of the framework that it can do. There's other things the Fianna Fáil committed to do that they haven't done. They've obviously saved Irish water, which remains a battle to be fought on another day, uh, but to insist that the government now implements that decision. Uh, Paul, just from your reading of the Fine Gael members on the committee, did, did they give you any indication as to their uh, stance on whether Minister Coveney should implement this uh, report recommendation? I mean, they just... It's like they're devoid of actual political arguments in favour of water charges. They just come back again and again and again and say, oh, it's not legal, it's not legal, we're going to be subject to 20,000 euro fines. They, they suggested a situation where the chair would call a senior council who's currently in Tokyo uh, like in the middle of the night in Tokyo and ask him, is it appropriate? Can we get rid of the word um, uh, excessive? Does that make it all illegal? They suggested this process, right, which we ridiculed and said, look, this is a political process, not a legal process. The chair then goes and does it, comes back with the advice, the advice says it's fine, it's only a committee, you're not writing legislation, there's no problem here. And so it's hard to know. I mean, I don't think they know, to be honest, in terms of what Coveney's attitude will be. I see he's on the, the tweet machine uh, in an <laughs> aggressive, <coughs> aggressive form. Um, so we'll see. And obviously, the Fine Gael leadership dynamics can also play into it. Um, he was also on the tweet machine last Thursday claiming that um, the deal that had been agreed in principle by the committee was a good deal for Fine Gael. Yeah, I, I'm not sure what Fine Gael were playing at with this whole thing. I mean, Fine Gael were trying to suggest at the weekend that an excessive use of charge had been agreed. Martin Hayden this morning was trying to suggest that the committee report sure it had to be an excessive uses charge. It's been clear for probably a month of the committee that it wasn't going to recommend an excessive use of charge uh, unless, as was always possible, there was some you know, side deal with Fianna Fáil. But what happened yesterday was that whatever side deal existed between Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael clearly broke down. They both blame each other and in those circumstances the only possible majority in the committee was between all of those TDs uh, linked to right to water who have been opposed to water charges and Fianna Fáil and Noel Grealish was the, the final uh, majority of 11-9 on the key issue of the compulsory meters. Would you be concerned Paul that maybe the deal with Fianna Fáil hasn't broken down and that Fianna Fáil might be playing a double game here that they're in there taking things out in the committee but they were out here in the plinth yesterday telling us it's a matter for the legislation it can go into the legislation and they may well do another side deal uh, excluding all of you and Sinn Féin and whatever else and, and do a deal do a deal on the legislation yeah I, I think it's not over from the point of view of the movement until the legislation is passed until the charges are completely gone and to be honest until Irish water is is gone as well um, and there are things that they can try and do in the legislation uh, to um, sew in a backdoor to water charges. That's the most they can do at this stage. And right now what the committee has done is, is shut that idea of a backdoor. But can they try to come to it again with legislation? 
yes they can, can Fianna Fáil be trusted? Obviously not, repeatedly uh, on this issue. Um, but we will be very vigilant and the fact that we should have tomorrow a final committee report which backs up that position. We know we have an agreement between Fianna Fáil and Fianna Gael which says the committee agreement should be implemented in legislation will be a, a weapon in the hands of the anti-water charges movement. Paul, um, just on logistics, have you to meet again tonight or are you done for, for today? Um, so, I think it's likely, it's still being discussed, uh, I think it's likely to be meeting tomorrow. It's possible there could be a meeting tonight. This is in terms of the final report. The final report, everything that we've discussed up until now has to be put into one document yeah. and then a straight yes-no vote has to take place. I'd be confident that that vote will be in, in favour. Uh,